49-year-old Donna Monticone of Oxford faces up to 10 years in prison for what she admitted to doing inside of this New Haven medical building. And patients of the Yale Fertility Center practice were left in excruciating pain because of her actions. As part of her responsibilities with the Yale Fertility Center, Donna Monticone ordered and inventoried a variety of narcotics used in outpatient surgeries to anesthetize patients. We spoke with an attorney representing nearly two dozen impacted patients. The fentanyl was supposed to be being used for pain relief during fertilization procedures. Monticone pleaded guilty to stealing dozens of vials of fentanyl for her own use and admitted to refilling the vials with a saline solution, which doctors then unknowingly injected into patients. The uh, procedure that requires fentanyl is extremely painful. And so without it, uh, these women were subject to, in some cases, extreme and unrelenting pain and were made to believe uh, by the uh, facilities that were run by Yale and part of Yale uh, that that pain was essentially in their head. Monticone admitted in court she initially injected herself with the fentanyl while working at the Yale clinic and then eventually began taking the vials home. But Yale had no clue for months. One of the ways in which uh, hospitals, at least uh, hospital facilities, are supposed to deal with this is by limiting those with access to the, these medications by ensuring that there's strict accounting uh, for when the medications are used. In a written statement, Yale says changes are underway in procedures, record keeping, and physical storage that will prevent this type of activity from happening again. But the women attorney Koskoff represents still have lots of unanswered questions. How did they find out is, uh, is a qu one question. Why didn't they find out sooner is another question. A lawsuit has not yet been filed on behalf of the former patients, and Monticone's attorney, a federal public defender, declined comment. In New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.